discipline is so important and it's a muscle in your brain really okay you make the most progress at the gym when you go on the days when you don't want to go because every day that you go to the gym you make a little progress in your muscles the day you go when you don't want to go not only do you make progress in your muscles but you you challenge your brain Okay guys, so one of my main tips for maximizing productivity is obviously waking up early and getting movement in and how to add that and implement that into your routine. One big tip is getting your outfit prepared in advance. So I have my shorts, my tank top, my t-shirt, my sweatpants, my sweatshirt, my um socks my underwear this is sitting here but this isn't actually giving me my pre-workout but my pre-workout my sneakers everything's here i also already have my bag packed for what i'm going to change into after the gym tomorrow for so my school clothes are in there my work clothes are in there so that i don't have to go home and yeah so i'm all packed up all my clothes are ready to go all right it is 10 48 and i'm just now going to do my daily bible reading which normally i know you guys know i do in the morning didn't do it this morning so i'm gonna do it tonight it's only my sleep schedule because i've been working is i will work until 10 30 and then go to bed around 11 or 11 30 and then wake up around 7 or 7 30 so i'm still getting that eight hours of sleep Hey guys, so it's the next day. I'm about to go to the gym and I wanted to share with you another productivity hack Which is spend less time getting ready because then you'll have more time to obviously do productive stuff and one of my tips is by doing overnight heatless waves because then you don't have to do your hair I did this pretty much like most days I would say but I am going to the gym today But I did it anyway because it's like doesn't really take any like there's no reason not to do it so even if it falls out my hair will still be probably a little bit wavy after the gym but yeah i'm headed to the gym i got my pink outfit i have this pink t-shirt pink tank top pink shorts it is also a rainy day 19. five seconds of awkward can save you from a lifetime of crap So it is Sunday and I'm just enjoying this peacefulness at this lake. It is really pretty. I'm the only person here and it's nice. Hey guys, so tonight I wanted to share with you something that I do occasionally. I used to do it more often than I've been doing it, but I don't do it like every single day or at a specific time, just kind of whenever I feel like it. But I recently have been um, using my prayer journal, which I talked about a little bit earlier. So I decided to write in that a little bit tonight. And basically it's kind of like any journal, um, but instead of just like recalling what I did today or whatever, I'm praying for people and praying for myself and praising God and basically I'm just writing out my prayers.
Hey guys, what's up? As you can tell, I am in my car and it is like 9 o'clock <laughs> and I'm in my car just like sitting outside my house because this video just had to be filmed because I have nothing to edit because I have nothing filmed. I wanted to film this video. I'm filming it outside of my car right now just so that I can like actually... In today's video, you guys, I'm going to be talking about maximizing productivity. It's not that crazy, but this topic is so there's so much to this topic let's start with what is productivity so everybody's version of productivity is going to be different okay i think that's what makes making this video really difficult because you can't say like because nobody can put one single def definition on what is or isn't productive right so maximizing productivity it's kind of subjective so what's productive pr what's productive to me might not be the same as what's productive to you even what's productive to me is different like day to day the second thing that is really important before we get into like actual tips is why do you want to be productive and i mean this is a tip this is the most important thing and where like what is your reasoning or wanting to be productive for me my reasoning for wanting to be productive is i want to glorify god in all things and in being productive i'm using my body my soul and my mind that the lord dwells in and has given me to my full potential for his glory and so i feel like now look i don't want to offend anybody this is just my personal opinion my personal convictions again productivity looks different for everybody laying on the couch all day can totally be productive for somebody but my personal conviction is that as a child of god and who's walking in the faith as a christian i think that it is my duty as a christian <laughs> that's a weird word but like it's kind of my obligation as a christian to be productive because otherwise it's like i'm not glorifying god because i'm not using what he gave me to my full potential another thing that kind of goes along with this i don't know it's kind of an analogy or a similarity kind of when i got back from africa and saw so much poverty i realized like what i spend my money on is really important because it's like i want to spend my money on things that like would bring god glory and so it's the same with time and that's essentially where productivity comes from so it's like i I want to spend my time on things that are going to be used to glorify God. And so for me, having social media and scrolling all day every day is not a good use of my time or glorifying God. There's nothing that comes out of that that I can use to glorify God. Whereas in studying, oh my gosh. I'm gonna be so embarrassed if one of my neighbors drives by. Whereas studying, for example, is a way for me to glorify God because I'm using studying, not only am I just developing my brain to my full potential, I don't know, it's kind of like common sense, like I don't really have to over explain that. Like studying is developing your brain to your full potential, whereas scrolling is just like destroying your brain and turning it into mush and noodles that can't process things and have a very short attention span so anyway but also studying is also um helping me pursue a degree that i want to pursue which will help me make money so that i can help other people with my money and, and that's kind of a long-term thing but the short-term thing is just that i'm glorifying god by not taking things for granted you know like god's given me a body and so i don't want to take that for granted by sitting on the couch all day i want to work out and use my body for like its full potential which is like exercise is different for everybody i love weightlifting but not everybody loves weightlifting but moving your body and using it and glorifying god with it and using your mind and glorifying god with it by um learning and learning to love learning and i feel like in our society it's become normalized to not like learning anymore which is so sad because learning is how we expand our society if we just condition ourselves to like make it not cool to be learners like our society will end no new innovations that's a little bit on why you should be productive obviously i'm not telling you that you have to do anything okay i'm just sharing my personal convictions and i think that as a follower of christ it is important to glorify god in everything you think say do just how you act overall it doesn't glorify god to not use yourself to your full potential anyway on to my actual tips for like how to actually implement productivity so i do have some notes here of course because i'm a little note taker another thing i want to talk about before we get on to the actual tips is hustle culture and i have found myself obviously i have found myself struggling with this so hustle culture is basically like the culture the societal societal pressure to be productive all the time i definitely have fallen into this i mean i just went on a whole spiel about why you 
should be productive and how it's not glorifying to God to not be productive. And I don't want to say that to scare you or scare myself because what's glorifying to God is doing your best, okay? Your best might be laying on the couch for the whole day. That might be your best because sometimes that's needed. Like when burnout happens, that's needed. It's needed even to prevent burnout. I'm not shaming that or condemning that at all. And hustle culture has made us believe that, you know, we should feel bad if we didn't get this, this, and this checked off our to-do list. And I've definitely felt myself falling into this because hustle culture makes us believe that, you know, we're failures if we aren't being productive all the time. And that's just not true because, again, everybody's productivity looks different. And not only that, but life is meant to be lived. But also, I, I know I keep coming back to this because I feel like this is so prevalent in our society. I don't think that scrolling on social media is living life. I think there's times where you need to just not do anything. But I also don't think that, and I think there's times too, just lay on the couch and scroll on social media. But I don't think that should be normalized to the point where that's the only thing everybody does all day, every day, you know? Um, but anyway, hustle culture is difficult and it can be challenging to get out of that. Um, and the most important thing to remember is that while you are, well, your life purpose is to glorify God in everything you think, say, and do. And, and for me, in order to glorify God, it's using my body, soul, and mind to its full potential to bring God glory. We don't want to idolize ourselves and our own abilities and idolize kind of like thinking that we can do things on our own. Because hustle culture makes us believe like if I get all of this done, blah, 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 if I am the most productive person, I, 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 I. But really, it's about God. It's about Jesus. And we cannot do anything on our own. And the only reason that I am productive and that I try to be productive... Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. There's a car. And it's my neighbor. And it's okay because I don't know any of my neighbors. Anyway. Um, that's so embarrassing. Oh my gosh, it's literally my right across the street neighbor. That's so embarrassing. Anyway, the only reason I am productive is to bring God glory. But the thing is that like... I can't do anything on my own. Like, Jesus is the only reason I live. And he paid the price for my sin because if I could do anything on my own, like, I wouldn't need Jesus. If we could do things on our own, we wouldn't need Jesus. So, hustle culture makes us believe that we can do everything on our own, but really we can't do anything without Jesus. And really, Jesus is the one who gives us that drive, that determination, that discipline and he gives you like your brain's knowledge and ability and stuff there are some actual attainable ways to implement productivity into your life the first tip i would give is to make goals when you're making goals you need to make big goals and little goals so here's an example let's say your big goal is i want to get tone for the summer that is a goal okay now let's make some small attainable goals so one of those could be i want to go to the gym three times a week i want to eat healthy now let's make even smaller goals so literally three of my neighbors are like outside right now never been more embarrassed in my life but also i'll just tell them to subscribe now let's make even smaller goals so instead of i'm going to eat healthy i am going to incorporate five fruits and vegetables into my diet every day i am going to follow the 80 20 rule if you guys don't know what the 80 20 rule is it's just like eating 80 percent healthy 20 percent unhealthy or i'm going to go to the gym and then smaller goal can be I am going to show up at the gym at least three times a week what we can do with these goals is like I am going to show up at the gym at least two times a week that could be for 10 minutes okay that can be you drive you get to the gym and you decide I don't want to be here anymore and you drive away but you still wait you still stay true to your goals now let's talk about motivation and discipline okay motivation is giving you the inspiration I guess to make some goals discipline is is what gets you progress. And this kind of has to do with productivity. It kind of has to do with everything else in life. You can't get anywhere in life without discipline, all right? You've, you've got to make goals and you've got to show up for yourself, just like you would show up for a friend. And if you wouldn't show up for your friend, you're a bad friend and you need therapy. Discipline is so important and it, it's a muscle in your brain, really, okay? You make the most progress at the gym when you go on the days when you don't want to go because every day that you go to the gym, you make a little progress in your muscles the day you go when you don't want to go not only do you make progress in your muscles but you you challenge your brain muscle you challenge your your um mind your soul your um heart you challenge what you want and your desires and you um you strengthen that muscle every time you do that 
and I, there was like a year straight probably where literally every gym session was just like, I did not want to go, but I challenged my brain muscles so much and I just kept challenging them and I just kept challenging them. And now I feel like I have really good discipline. If I like set a goal and I say I'm going to follow this goal, I will have discipline and follow that goal. And it's not really as much of a challenge for me because I've strengthened that muscle. And, um, also a side note is because I went to the gym so much when I didn't want to, I develop strength and stuff and now the gym is actually fun so now i always want to um next plan ahead all right so some ways that i plan ahead is i will plan out my outfits the night before this also really helps me because when i go to the gym in the morning i like already have my outfit plan and i never even like try it on or anything and then i just like go to the gym and then just like throw it on right after the gym and that really helps me like because otherwise the alternative is i like if I didn't go to the gym in the morning and I just like woke up and went to my house, I would probably spend like 30 minutes trying on clothes and be like, no, I, I don't like these and then like trying something else on or something. But because I just pick it out and like I don't try it on, I just like put it on and I like don't even look at myself and I'm just like, whatever. Another thing I do is meal prep. Um, I pack my food the night before. Um, I usually pack like my breakfast, lunch and dinner all the night before and that way I don't have to come home. And that leads me to my next point, which is minimize transition time. So transition time, I would kind of define that as like driving one place to another or like getting ready. Um, one thing that has helped me get ready faster is I do like sock curls and so then you don't even have to do your hair. So in my Why Eat In A Week video that I just posted a couple weeks ago, that video did really well by the way. So thank you guys for viewing that video. But anyway, my actually my What I Eat In A Day has changed a lot since then. But another thing that has changed is in that video, I came home every day after school and then I like stayed at home for like an hour and then I went back to work. But the thing is my work is like 10 minutes away from my school and my school and my work are each like 20 minutes away from my home. So I was spending 20 minutes, I would be at school and then I would drive home which would take 20 minutes and then I would drive back out to work which would take 20 minutes. Whereas the alternative would be to go straight to work and then right next door to my work is Panera. So I would go straight there for 10 minutes and then I would save 30 minutes out of my day. So, I mean, do with that as what you will. But another thing that I would say about a midday is much more than 30 minutes because when I went home, I would spend a lot of time at home making my lunch and then like looking around in my fridge and like sitting at the table and like taking a nap on the couch, whatever. But this way, I just go to Panera and then the grind don't stop. Like I get work done at Panera, I eat my little dinner that I pre-meal prepped the night before and my productivity has skyrocketed. And that leads me to another point which is find a productive space. My productive space is Panera. I just feel productive in Panera because when I go to Panera, I go there to get work done. And I've heard a lot of people say this too. Yeah, like I associate Panera with getting homework done. And that doesn't mean I can't go there with my friends and have a good meal, but it means that like if I'm there by myself, like I'm getting work done. Like there's nothing else to do. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm the most disciplined when it comes to getting work done because I do get distracted, but I try to get my work done. You know, the goal is there. I feel productive when I'm there. If, if nothing else, I feel productive. And if you don't have Sips Club yet, get that because that is the best investment. And actually my mom pays for it. It's my mom's Sips Club. <laughs> but if I paid for it, I would be saying that is the best investment I've ever made because that is like $10 a month. And it costs like $3 to get a coffee. And I literally go to Panera pretty much every single day. I would say at least three or four times a week. Um, another thing is time blocking or creating a schedule on Google calendars or Apple calendar. This is something that I started doing a couple years ago and I rely on my calendar. It can, it can hurt you in some ways because if you rely on it too much and you actually like forget to put something on there, if something gets messed up, then I put everything on there. All right. And then my last like main tip is what I kind of talked about earlier. And that is to take breaks and enjoy life because life is meant to be lived. Life Life isn't meant to just be the most productive person all the time. Obviously, you want to use yourself to your full potential, but your full potential is only your full potential. You can only do the best that you can do. You can't do your best when you're not enjoying your life because that's part of doing your best. It's doing your best to enjoy life and doing your best in everything you do is doing your best at enjoying life. The other day I went to the lake and it was beautiful. Um, we have some beautiful trees where I live. The fall weather is just gorgeous and, and it I think it brings God glory to, to just appreciate his 
huge creation. Like, appreciate your friends. Appreciate your family. And that's a way to bring God glory, too. Another reason why it's just really important to take breaks and enjoy life is because if you don't do that, you'll get burnt out. If you get burnt out, you can't be productive anymore. You lose self-esteem. You, you lose your ego. You lose your will to live. And what is life if you don't want to live it? All right, now for my extra bonus tip. Obviously, I touched on this and if you're a follower of my channel, you know that one of my things is like fitness and healthy eating. So what I eat in a week video, I, I know I just said this, but it has changed so much since that video. I have started incorporating a lot more greens into my diet. That video made it look like I never eat greens. The thing is, I during that week, I was snacking a lot on greens, so they wouldn't always be like in my meals because I would eat them as snacks. I would eat like carrots and broccoli. Anyway, I'm low-key embarrassed because I feel like I say that I like eat healthy and I like actually don't but recently I've, I think I've been a lot better about eating fruits and veggies um I've also been budgeting so if you want a budgeting what I eat in a week I'll definitely do that working out and eating healthy is so important to maximizing your productivity and here's a few reasons why like I start my morning with a good workout and I just instantly feel more energized and like more productive I've already accomplished something and it's like starting the trajectory for my day whereas if I just woke up and like didn't work out like where would my day even be you know <laughs> there's some days where I wake up and I feel like I'm more productive if I don't go to the gym because I just heard a sound and that was really scary. Eating healthy maximizes your brain function, okay? If you're eating sugar all the time, you're clogging your brain, you're fogging your brain, but when you're eating your fruits and vegetables, you're giving your body the nutrients it deserves, giving your body the vitamins it deserves, and that's helping your like cognitive functions. Like that's helping you focus. Focus is like key for productivity. Like you can't be productive without focus. Yeah, you're you're gonna be so much more productive if you have the ability to focus. Um and then another thing is building healthy habits. And obviously I, I've touched on this a little bit, but everything is about habits. I haven't read Atomic Habits yet. That's on my Christmas list. I'm reading a book called like Seven Habits of a Highly Effective Person. And I, I kind of wanted to like read that before I made this video, but I know that I'm not going to read it that fast. So maybe I'll make a follow up video after I read that. Long story short, build habits, use discipline to build habits. Um, and habits are just once something is a habit, you don't have to think about it anymore and you don't have to have discipline anymore. I mean, you do, but you use discipline to build the habit. Once it's a habit, you don't really have to have one. Another thing, read nonfiction books, okay? Not enough people do this, I feel like, um, and you don't even have to sit down and read them, although I would recommend it because it's good for your brain, but um, listen to them and learn from them. And then my final little tip is just reward yourself with little rewards for getting things done. That could be like, oh, I read three chapters of my textbook. Now I'm going to have a candy bar. Although that's kind of a bad example because I just talked about eating healthy, but you get the idea. Um, another side tip that I didn't put in my notes is think about the things that you can control versus the things that you can't control. So some things you can't control are your weight, for example. Some things you can control are how many times you went to the gym this week. And reward yourself for going to the gym three times in a week. Don't reward yourself for losing 10 pounds another thing is like reward yourself for having discipline to study an hour every day for your test um <coughs> as opposed to rewarding yourself if you get an a on the test i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some helpful tips comment down below um some ways that you are able to implement productivity into your life and comment down below your favorite hobby I don't know. I hope that you guys know that Jesus loves you and he is the only reason and you cannot do anything on your own, because, but Jesus can. Um, Jesus can do everything and he can live through you. And uh, yeah, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So um, go on, live that truth. Remember Jesus loves you. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more faith, fitness, and fun faith, fitness, food. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. I know I haven't been super pro productive. <laughs> I have not been super productive in making YouTube videos. Um, anyway, that was my outro.